What's up guys, Bean Nails here again, and we are back to do our second recap of the day um, for the war. Um, again, if you didn't catch the first one, I had a migraine over the weekend for the last couple days, and that's been quite problematic. Uh, it was really rough, um, but we are here to get those recaps up now, and uh, we are going to check out war win number 150, and continue our war streak, our win streakage, which is now pushed to three. Um, which they have added to um, the menu here when you look at your clan, which is pretty cool. Um, so, you know, we are about 15, no, 14, what is that, 1448 away from uh, reaching clan perk level 10. So let's go ahead and check out our Warlog. And this was against Peaky Blinders. And uh, we kind of just, uh, it was tight for a little bit and then uh we put we went ahead and put on the beat down and put this one away so um still had some town hall nine issues um but there was definitely a dramatic improvement this is the first war where we sent some guys over from uh storm factory for some help and the, that that help showed a dramatic improvement in our war um with people going over uh war calls and everything like that so let's go ahead and check out the board I got a nice fat bonus, as you can see, almost 1.6, literally. Um, so, they, on their side, they struggled. Um, I guess I, you would say they struggled against our Town Hall 11s. Um, they had, we had three, they had three, I believe this was even all the way down, if I re do recall. Um... So they took two swings at Ginger, I believe, or one. And then uh, they definitely took two at me. They had a Town Hall 10 reach up, and he just went for the, the one star. I've showed uh, in many videos that the, my base is easily one starable. It's an anti two base. That's what it's built for. Um, you know, so that's what I'm rocking still. And then uh, for the rest down, they did okay on our Town Hall 10s. And then uh, their problem was look at all these stars they left over. This looked like us two wars ago. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Ouch. Double digit town hall nines left. Eleven stars, you know, that makes it 83 to 81. Definitely a lot closer war if you can get your town hall nines down. Uh, so, anyway, on our side, we it was just me and Ginger hit the top three. And I think we uh, did a solid job. We got both of those in within about six to eight hours, I believe. And um, I got three. He got two. And then uh, I tried to get one. I only got a 43 on number one. But I think at the time, I believed as soon as I had made that hit, I thought we were good and that we could use JK to um, bully hit the Town Hall 10s was the game plan. And bully hit we did. So we'll check those out, and you'll see right there, there's one three-star by him, and number two is right there. So we're able to drop and gain two more stars on the Town Hall 10s based on that. And then I believe the Town Hall 9 started right here, 7 and 8. And um, we had two bully hits down there. And then the rest were Town Hall 9s, um, it, uh, it appears... So, I mean, let's count up our stars that we missed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So, we went from nine to seven to two. And uh, this one didn't have even that many bully hits in it as well. Um, one, two. And I think we had Nova clean three. And where's the other one he hit? Where are you? Three bully hits. That's it on this one. So it's pretty, pretty decent job there. Only two left over. So we're definitely, as you can see, uh, the improvement was dramatic there. Seven down to two. And we're getting there. Uh, these bases weren't the greatest, um, but we took advantage of them. So let's go jump right into the videos. Ginger's going to hit number two here. And then we'll go over number three. And then we will... Take a look at one of uh, K2's bully hits, 
and then we'll move down the town hall nines. I need to try and keep these videos a little bit shorter. Gets a little extensive when they're 30 minutes long, so going to two times these. It's going to be an Archer Queen walk uh, with some Belks. And again, you are seeing the redheads. You guys will be seeing a lot of redheads here. And he's got, as you can see, he's picking up free percentage easily right to start the, the raid. And this is a good idea instead of doing this at the end because if he doesn't get to the eagle, uh, that eagle is going to stop those percentage points. So here comes the walk down here. It's going to need a rage. There it is. Queen's marching along. He's going to send these golems in, and here comes that in, that eagle going. Opens two nice, beautiful holes right there. Here's that jump. Slow it down right here. Look at all this down here is gone. So he's taken off a whole path, and um, that's made a great funnel right here for the jump where he's going to be able to reach that inferno and the eagle and the town hall. Um, continue from there. I'm going to slow it down now. Saving the Grand Warden for... Should be coming here. He's got that poison down. And the witch has become relevant again in that CC. Look at all those skeletons. She spawns a ton. Still holding on that GW. Oh, wait. No, GW was used up. I must have missed it. Uh, but he's got that golem out there tanking. Actually, it's taken on that single Inferno, and then his king's going to get locked on, so he's going to have to boost his king really quick. Takes out the Town Hall. Tries to run away, but doesn't get out of there in time. So there's a solid two already. Now we're just going for some extra percentage, trying to get whatever we can. And tearing up and gutting that core. He's got two extra wall breakers left over. And no point in using those. So he's going to pick up a nice, what is it, 60% uh, on this base. So that was the first hit on the Town Hall 11s. Take a look at the army comp if you guys would like. And uh, other than that, you know, good good solid job on that quick tear up. Let's take a look at my hit on three. I got 65. I tore this one a new butthole really quickly too. Take a pause real quick here. I'm going to go with Quake and... Uh, this base, I changed my army comp like three times. I actually was going to do a walk, then decided that that wasn't ve the very best idea. And then I thought about doing a charge from in here over at, uh, what would that be, mm, 3 o'clock? And then I was like, eh, eh. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do Valkyries right here and just run up through 3 o'clock, and then we're just going to tear this shit all the way up. And tear it up we did. So here's the plan. Golems out here on the side. This this whole attack's going to be based up here at the top around three. And then I'll have one golem down here by this cannon. And first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and get my quakes out of the way. I, I kind of like to do my quakes out of the way first. No. I mean, I don't know. Uh, it does help activate the eagles, so that makes a little bit of a difference. But I like to get it out of the way. I don't like to be uh, funneling or fumbling to get my troops out. And then as you can see, hold on, hold on, wait for it, wait for it. Where is it? Got my third golem down here. Got those wall breakers down. Eagles activating. Got some wizards. Drop four whiz. Bam. So, as I recalled in my last video, I learned one thing based on those Town Hall 10 hits. You saw the giants come down and the warden come down. And I did that first this time before letting my Valkyries run in there. Uh, and what that's going to do is that's going to take on this Infernos. All those little flames that are going to stick out are not going to lock onto my Valkyries. And that's going to keep them fresher a little bit longer. And that's the key. Um, so you're just going to see the difference right here as I've made that. And then here comes a Storm of Valkyries. And watch this. Oh. Did you see that? There's that Rage. And this is going to go night-night. Everything's going night-night now. I've got three heroes in here. Look, they're all hanging out here in the back. And I need my Grand Warden to catch up there. And with that Rage, I'm going to freeze that center. And then you're going to see here comes the second Rage, and then it's everything's just gone. Bam. 
those Valkyries just doing work. And these are only level four Valkyries, so uh, when I get to the level five, they're gonna even be more dramatic. But as you can see, I'm already no problem gonna get two stars on this base easily. I got all three heroes, didn't even go to the center. Uh, the Valkyries just gutted this, and I've got that third golem going down here on the side to help pick up some extra percentage with a couple wizards. Uh, there wasn't a ton of point defenses and defenses down here, so I figured to send one golem down there to help with my percentage. And, and then, as you can see, this is going to be a simple, easy two from here, as I've got three heroes just marching down the field. And there's only, you know, a couple defenses on the side. It's going to be hard for them to take down this big king, full queen, and, and grand warden. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and end up getting 65 on this base, so that's a solid two-star on a Town Hall 11. So our first two hits were 60 and 65 on the 11s, and that's going to be, you know, that's going to be tough on your opponent right out the gate. So already going to gain percentage is an advantage. Um, if this comes down to a percentage war, it's going to already, in my opinion, once we've already seen these two hits, I already know that these are going to come down and be an advantage for us. So you're going to see... Um, and this one, uh, this is going to be another Valkyrie raid. This is going to be an ar actual Archer Queen walk with Valks. And there's those level fives. I need to get those. He's going to go ahead and Earthquake this center. And then he is going to kill this quickly. Queen's going to come down here at about six. And then he's just going to have her march all the way around the base. That's the, the, the plan in this is to keep her walking and let everybody else do the gutting in the core, and then she just needs to target all these little outside defenses and tear up all that stuff. So she's going to walk around all, all day by herself, no problem. And then he's going to go ahead and send all these golems uh, again. Um, I was told to get your Grand Warden down first, so maybe he might slightly look at that, but we're going to... I mean, look how fast this is, and this is at one times. You're seeing this at, uh, at regular replay speed, and and that stuff's already gone. We're only talking about 10 to 12 seconds of being deployed, and they've already gone through this first core, second, and they're already heading into this third section of the base. And there goes the rage. So here comes that Inferno's going to go down. He actually drops a freeze, and it lands on nothing. So again, that's how powerful the Valks are. Um, he's dropping his freeze and hitting nothing because... It's a little bit slow, and by the time it even gets down, the Valkyries have already torn it all the way out. Uh, so, just slightly, a little slight improvement that he'll adjust to. Um, we're all adjusting to this powerful Valkyrie system, because as you've seen twice that he's done, is, you know, that freeze goes down, and it's not even getting anything, because, you know, you don't ex you're not expecting your Valkyries to just tear this up the way that, it, that it's being done. I mean, these things are O- P. I think we all might agree that these are OP right now, um, but there's always something that's OP. Um, the last update was the witches. Uh, now they nerfed the witches, and now they bring out a new comp. And uh, you see this almost in every type of gameplay, I believe, uh, whether it's trading card games or anything like that. You'll have a ban list. Um, in this, you'll have um, one attack that's going to be super real powerful, and then that'll probably get nerfed, or what we call banned, basically. Uh, if you're playing trading card games, you see this all the time. Um, and then from there, you're going to get a new attack strategy. So it's always about adapting and moving on to the next system. Um, and that's the point of the game. That's um, how they make some money is that they keep you playing by having to get the new stuff and wanting to get the new stuff. And I'm sure everybody gemmed all this stuff. And the only thing that I would even worth gemming is getting those Valks right now. Um, you get the level 4 Infernos. Level 9 Mortars were released. And, uh, you know, those are, those are decent, um, but the, the um, Infernals aren't, aren't all that much different. They just get some cool chains, same things with the Mortars. Um, the Mortars actually would probably kill Barching now at this point, and uh, also help destroy, really destroy Witches. And another thing that they did to nerf the Witches, if you don't know about the nerfing of the Witches, is um, the Skeletons no longer trigger traps. And that is huge for witches because now, um, and I've used my witches, and now you, all you see is the witches getting hit by the GBs because the skeletons are no longer a triggering, triggering them pre-out front uh, to protect those witches. 
And, uh, you know, that really just kills the witch in general. It doesn't really have much value now. Um, because, I mean, without that, they're not triggering any springs or anything. Any mini bombs or giant bombs. You know, that's just a problem. And I've had quite a few of those. So, solid three there by K2 again. And let's go ahead and check out... Let's give AJ a look. Let me see if I have anybody else out front. Zim on the top nine again. Give Peely a look too. So let's go through three more really quickly. Actually, we'll go two more. Gave Zim a look on the last one. I want to give AJ a pop. If I can get it. If I remember this attack. This is another Valkyrie raid. Four Quake. Three heal. And as you can see, this is uh, kind of a dead zone base, slightly. Oh, it's got some big gaps in there. Uh, I don't know why he only dropped three uh, earthquakes there. I don't remember why he did that. Let's see what happens here. So he started a funnel. He's got, what does it look like, one golem here. And then I believe he'll have some, this is just going to be a mass velk. Yep, mass Valkyries out the out the wazoo. There's going to be about 17 of these redhead stunners going around killing stuff. He actually saves the fourth one um, because, oh, now he drops it. I don't know. So I guess he decided to actually drop it there. But as you can see, look at these Valkyries just going ham. He's got two heals down, and this is just going to, he's only got five. Uh, Hog Riders, his king actually went around the base. And the queen is chasing down that damn Lava Hound, which will pop right there. Um, but unfortunately, the Valkyries are just just knocking it out left and right. I'm going to pause it, take a quick look outside. And then he started his five hogs on the outside, and they're just going to run down this path. Uh, as you can see, there's not many defenses left. Mm-mm-mm. <clears throat> And they're just going to both run down and uh, basically kind of meet up in the middle here. Dropped a wall breaker to stall that cannon just for a second. And he's got a full queen. And uh, still got Valkyries running around. And then it just becomes clean up down here at the bottom. He's got one wizards up there. And... Uh, this uh, bar axe is going to be actually the last target he's going to have to gri grab. It's going to be a little bit of a stretch. There's a ton to clean still. He's still got two defenses banging. Queen's going to go ahead and snab those right now. And then that Valkyrie is going to help with cleaning uh, over here. She's going to be able to hit two targets once she gets past this. Stand in that center. Whack both of those down. He's going to have to rush over here. And this is... Probably pretty close. I didn't check the time in the beginning, but I would assume. Whew, sets off another double double set there, but picks up the three. Solid. Uh, that's a full-out Valkyrie right there. There was 17 Valkyries in that one. Let's check out Peely is reaching 10 above. These are always good. 25 on 15 we will take. With a level 10 and 8. And this is just going to be mass hogs. This is a hog bash right here. So he's just going to funnel down here, always funneling with the wizards. Wizards, minions, always funnel troops. Uh, he's going to rush in here, drop a poison, and that's going to slow down that queen, make her attack slow, and uh, give his golem time to get there. Now, unfortunately, she locked on to his king right away instead of the golem, so that kind of sucks. So maybe just slightly wait a, an extra second on the king. Uh, so that the golem gets targeted instead of your king. Because he had to bust out the ability first. Actually didn't even get her down. His queen. Or I'm sorry that wizard picks her up. And finishes her off. And you're just going to see a bunch of hogs just rolling in here. I believe he even makes bacon on this somewhere. Um, but there's just too many hogs. There's the bacon. But I don't think he used too many hogs on that part. And then uh, from here, there should be another double set, I believe, right there in between that. Yep, there's one, but they only trigger one on this, and that was the key to the raid. 
got a little bit of luck right there um that they only triggered the one bomb instead of both because that could have made bacon but other than that at this point it's it's all over for this base he's got about 15 hogs still running around and both of his heroes down he's only got one wizard and an archer helping clean um but with the the mass amount of hogs left over he's able to clean this up really quickly and they actually split so that works out really well for him too so you know solid job on this war um you know a lot better than it's been and it's good to see the improvements it looks like people are taking the rating and uh you know the war evaluating and going over your attack strategies pre Besides just rushing in there and it's showing and making a big difference as uh, the re results are showing. So we need to continue to stick on that path. And that was an excellent raid by uh, Peely there though. Um, level 10 and 8 heroes. I like it. I like it. Um, we'll go ahead and check out the war details really quick. Which made the difference. 94 percentile up there. That's pretty solid. We had 24 3 stars. They had 13. So... A massive dramatic difference uh, they were mostly two star in the hell out of us and that ended up being you know their demise in this this raid I actually ended up getting most heroic attack in this one so I didn't know that that's kind of cool um, but still means nothing in any any way you want to look at it but you know that's war win number 150 another solid job there we'll go ahead and take a quick glance at our future war which just started here Oh, it hasn't just started. We are five minutes away. So I'm getting these in right prehand before this, and they will be going up. <coughs> but we'll go ahead and take a look at uh, the Young Spartans. 174 wins. We have 150. Um, and then uh, they've got three new guys at the top. And their first three guys are all max heroes. 40, 40, 20 all the way aboard. And they have one more Town Hall 11 on us. So there's the difference there. Um, but they have a ton. Let's see, 20 through 25. What do we have? Only have one Town Hall 8. Uh, so, you know, that doesn't really make that much of a difference. Um, but the difference is was from down here is from 14 down. Every base above that is a decent war base. But from 14 down, this is what we see. 5, 10, pink walls. I mean, phew. these guys are going to be 5-5. Five and five. This guy's going to be absolutely useless. I, I don't know. Maybe let's check out his war troops. Yeah. yeah I don't know. I don't know what you're going to do with those things, guy. Let me see what number 5-5 five, five had. Let's go back and check him out. They don't even have solid war troops down here, so all these bases are going to be a wash. From 14 down, those attacks are not going to be any use. They're going to be basically scouts. Um, so, I mean, I guess that's kind of useful. But they're not going to be able to three-star anything up here. And we have only one Town Hall 8. So they're going to need a lot of dips in this war. And, uh, you know, that's going to probably be a problem for them. Hopefully, um, by the looks of this, we should be able to pick up this win. We need to do a solid job. This is going to be tough on these top bases. We'll take a quick glance at them. Um, these are 40-40-20s across the board. And, you know, maxed out, taxed out. This is going to be rough. Tough looking bases, or at least this one looks pretty decent. This is going to be uh, some thinking involved. I need some Valkyries for this stuff. Um, so I might actually go ahead and gem those today, I'm not sure. I still haven't farmed the Dark Elixir there. I'm uh, working on my Town Hall 9 and stuff right now. I have two 9s to work on. Um, but I do need to get those Valkyries going. So they've got some solid Town Hall 11s. And this is their last one. Uh, looks more like a Town Hall 9 times, Town Hall 9 or 10 with a mix of an 8. It's got level 8 walls in there. And, uh, you know, but still 40 on the Queen, 20 on his uh, Warden, and level 35 on the King. So they've got some tough heroes up top, um, but they are a top-heavy clan, and we're going to see how this works out for them. But I don't believe... Uh, I believe we should be able to get this easily. They're going to have a lot of dips, and that could, you know, if they, you know, screw up on one or two attacks up here at the top, that's probably going to be the end of the war for them right there, as long as we do our part on our side. So, 
we'll go ahead and you'll see that recap in a couple of days. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe, tell your friends, yada, yada. You know the jingo. Uh, hit the like button. Um, but for now, this is B-Nails. Go ahead and check out my new Clash Royale uh, videos that I'll be throwing up here today. It's been a couple days, uh, almost a week on those, so I'm going to throw some new ones up. I've actually made it to um, the Royal Arena, which is level 7, finally, on my big account. I know I've only been doing uh, some White Lightning videos from the bottom. Um, because the game is new, I wanted to stress um, to the younger... Um, not the younger generation, but to the newer players of the game, and there's still a lot of people funneling in to join in on this action, um, that you check it out, and uh, you'll be able to see the gameplay, and I'm actually having a problem up there, and, you know, we'll talk about that over in those videos, but um, this is, for now, you know, this is B-Nails, and thanks for joining, and peace out, guys.